It is obviously Shauna from the future here. Um, so when we were filming the Malta video, we assumed it was just gonna be like one big video, but we actually filmed way too much stuff and we thought it would be way better if we just made Malta one video, which we already posted. So I'll make sure to leave that link down in the description. And then this video will just be about Gozo. So I just wanted to lead with that. So you're not just like, um, what are you guys doing? Why are you just randomly talking and not introing like you usually do? Well. That's why, because we only thought we were gonna film one video. But anyway, so please enjoy this Gozo video and hopefully it's helpful. Okay, so our next step for the day is we came to Gozo, which I'm not sure if we explained this already in the video, but basically Malta, the country is made up of three islands. The first one is the biggest one, Malta, which is what we've been on for the last like few days. Then there's a really small one called Camino and then the island Gozo. So that's where we are right now. And it's actually like fairly big. Like we tried to look and see if we could like walk to the different areas we want to go to and you definitely cannot walk it. But there's lots of like, transportation options there's bolt which is like the essentially like uber that also take the bus or you could like rent an e like bicycle essentially so there's lots of different ways to get around yeah but basically we're in victoria right now and and gozo like actually has so many different things that you can see that we're probably going to walk around victoria today it's like an old city basically like we're right in front of like an old church you can kind of see <laughs> and then another day we might come back and also spend another whole day in gozo so we'll see yeah apparently there's like a lot of beautiful like nature things here that we want to see but because we only came here like for the second and over the day don't think we're gonna have enough time to like do everything today so plus we have a lot more time here anyway so I think we're gonna come back another day and kind of do all the nature stuff around the island but the city's supposed to be really beautiful and have really cute like little alleyways and stuff so we're gonna go walk around we actually ate lunch right there at Bistro 20 oh sorry my fingers blocking it but it's called Bistro 234 and right they have a sign outside but there's people blocking it right now oh, wait, they're walking away we're going we're going, friends, to show you the sign. That just had all this vegan stuff. Vegan burger, vegan avocado salad, and a vegan ravioli. So Gabby had the ravioli, and I had the burger. It was really yummy, honestly. It was so good, and it was just what we needed because we were starving. <laughs> We're just like walking around the streets here in it's Victoria really nice. and it's really nice it's, it's like really beautiful and it's very like quiet here which I like it's like you could tell it's not a party place it's just very chill but um <laughs> this like local man saw us like kind of like exploring around he was like oh where are you from and we were talking to him for a little bit and then and then he was like what are you doing here this is an old person town <laughs> <laughs> we all we like actually like the town a lot we're like uh -huh. this is this is a good town for us so funny <laughs> We're not gonna be able to leave. <laughs> Best day ever. <laughs> you come stay? You come stay. You're gonna come stay. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> We're not gonna be able to leave. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Okay, so we walked to the Citadel, which is one of the like main tourist attractions here in Victoria in Gozo, and the view is just absolutely insane. This is the parking lot of the Citadel, and this is the view. Like what? Yeah, as you can tell, we're obsessed. You can see like all of Gozo in different directions, and it's freaking beautiful. Okay, so we found out that the citadel was actually built in medieval times, which means that it's really, really, really old and has been here for a very long time. I mean, it is really impressive. Like, it's a huge building. It almost looks like a palace, I feel like. like or like a one. castle. A castle, exactly. <laughs> to this Sicilian restaurant called Il Panzier for dinner and it was a 
amazing um literally so freaking incredible and they actually cater to like vegan gluten-free all kind of diets you just like tell them and they make they like tell you everything on the menu that they can like make like so vegan in this case they made us a bunch of vegan meals it was so good and actually on their menu they already have everything labeled as like vegan or vegetarian or like gluten-free anyway but the coolest thing was that it was definitely like a family run um restaurant like it was a husband and his wife and their kids were also helping it just felt like we were like really like in the culture which i really loved <laughs> yeah i mean it was such a cool experience and it was amazing sicilian food and if you didn't know this shanna is actually sicilian so 96 percent, 96 percent. so she got to actually eat her food tonight we are actually going back to gozo today we're back on the ferry and the ferry is like 10 times more crowded than it was the other day we were yeah, on it it is way busier it was so empty the other day when we went i think because of the weather it was like not like the sunniest day ever but today is like an absolutely beautiful day so we're just so excited to go and we have so many different things that we want to go see in Gozo so we're gonna show you all of it for sure so the first thing we're seeing in Gozo today is these temples I believe it's pronounced Giganta, like giant or like gigantic. It's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Legend says like only like giants could have like built it because the rocks and the stones are so big and stuff. So we're gonna go inside and see it. It was about 10 euros per person to come see these temples. So yeah, we... which is actually pretty affordable, honestly. We yeah. feel like this is worth it. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and I think it's kind of rare to be able to see those. So when you're somewhere near one, you have to. Shannon and I have been walking around and wondering why it like smells so good. It, like the smell is making me hungry, but then we just found out that a lot of these bushes around us are like both fennel and thyme. The, the herbs. The herbs. So, so no that's wonder. why it smells so good like, and it's making us hungry. It smells amazing. It's making us hungry. I was literally like, I think I want a salad. <laughs> <laughs> rock has like ancient carvings on it but actually in the 1800s they graffitied it so i don't know if you can read it but up there it says like 1840. lnp i wonder what they did after that I didn't even know graffiti was a thing in 1840, but I guess it was. Okay, so cool fact also that we learned is that apparently this temple was built before metal tools were available. So that's kind of crazy that they built this massive temple without using any metal. It must have taken a really long time. Am yeah, I the only a one really that long that? time. <laughs> seen salt pans before right no they're so cool and it's just like this area is so incredible i feel like we're like on a planet in star wars that is just made of sand like i'm just going to turn the camera around so here is the salt pans and that's obviously the sea but then when you turn around like look at this like this is like a big like sandy looking rock and then over there is kind of like a weirdly shaped i don't know what it is rock formation i guess but this area of the island is just beautiful stunning oh okay so now we are walking from the salt pans to this area called weed ill garci probably pronouncing it wrong but i'll put it on screen um, yeah, apparently ignore that we can't pronounce anything we literally can't pronounce anything we just can't accept that about us <laughs> <laughs> but um we're walking from the salt pans to that area because it's supposed to be really beautiful our friends rox and marcher who are here like a week before us told us to go there and our uber driver or volt driver today told us also that we to go here and he said that the walk is like pretty easy and like doesn't take that long so that's what we're doing now and it's beautiful like yeah. look at this walk the walk is like incredibly scenic there's so many like salt pans like everywhere in every direction and there's people just like fishing by the water like locals and stuff and it's beautiful definitely would recommend if you haven't booked your trip here yet when you do maybe stay a few days in gozo and then more days in like the part of malta that we're staying in yeah i think if we could like redo our trip that's the only thing we would do different is to stay oh there's a car coming i think if we were to like redo our trip i think the only thing we would do differently is stay in gozo for a few days because i do think that we could have had like a little bit more time to explore here instead of yeah. trying to do everything in one day like maybe we would stay here for like two days because i feel like if you woke up here you could do all of this stuff and not feel rushed and we actually don't feel rushed but we did have to like ferry over here twice so we like couldn't get here as early as you maybe like want to be here Okay, 
so we actually made it here. It was a super easy flat walk and only about like a 20, 25 minute walk from the salt pans. Yeah, if you like hiking, that was a really, really nice walk. Like it was scenic and beautiful the whole way through and not too hard either. So we freaking made it. Look at this view. Well, I need to just turn around and show you because this is just absolutely gorgeous. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> This is definitely one of the most beautiful views we've seen. I feel like we say that so much in this video, but that's just because everything in Malta is really beautiful. Malta is really, really beautiful. There's just so much like wildflowers and like caverns and like rocks. Like it's just really cool and a very different landscape than what we're used to like in New York City. I love this view. I feel like we just are gonna stay here for a while and look at it. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully you can hear us, but our next stop in Bozo is this place called As Your Window, which was actually used in Game of Thrones. There's another like filming location. It was like the scene where um, Daenerys and Carl Drago were like having like the wedding feast for their wedding. Um, so it used to be like right behind right us. Right behind like, us. It kind of looked like an arch. Like if you've seen that episode, it's like this big archway. But apparently, like in 2018 or something, it crumbled into the sea during a bad storm. So it's actually collapsed, but you can still kind of see like remnants of what it once was. I'll put a photo on the screen of what it used to look like at like the scene of Game of Thrones and stuff so you can kind of get like a sense of what it used to look like over here. But imagine Gabby standing. Oops. Careful. Yeah, I'll be standing and then there's like a kind of like a rock in the sea there and it would like arch like here. But it's still super beautiful over here. Like obviously you can't see that, but like there's crazy views of like the rocks and the coastline. Yeah, like just luck. Absolutely insane. And there's a bunch of cars and touristy things in like the parking lot and stuff, but this area is very beautiful, but a little bit more touristy than the other area we were in. Yeah, but you definitely can't see the Azure window up. So if you thought you were going to be able to see that, you definitely can. It's definitely collapsed. 